All right, we're just about ready to assemble our x-axis for the optimum lathe conversion. We've got our ball screw um, with a custom nut made. Uh, we've got our ball screw attached to the motor plate with its thrust bearings um, and the drive, all that's been set up to start with. Now to get these in, it's very tight through here. There's not a lot of room, it's about a millimetre clearance each way, if that. So to get it on, first off, bring the carriage right out. Get the nut box started and loosely do it up. We don't want it to be ten tension too much, we need movement to be able to align everything first. Gently slide it back, get our motor mount plate. We loosely fit that. Then we move the carriage all the way across to the end so we can line that plate up properly. And then we mount this plate securely. Run it down to the other end. I'll turn this around. Now when they do these drillings on the end of the, of the carriage, they're done by eye at the factory. So they're never in the center or never square. So it's very important when you do it up, to put it on and center it in, in that ball screw. And you've got to make sure you've got room so the carriage can go over it. That's better. Next, we put on the plate. Now, if we're not doing a manual uh, conversion so we can still use it manually, that would be all we do. Uh, in this case, we're still going to keep manual operation. So we put a washer on, then the bearing, and then we've got a drive pin on our nut. Spin that on. On final assembly, I'll put some Loctite in there. We we'll do that up tight. And there we have it. We can still use it manually. Or we can use the motor. So next we'll turn it around. We have our motor assembled on the plate. We've got our belt in. And we've got our, our bolts on to hold the nut. They're loosely so the motor can slide to, to get the correct tension. Fit it over here, get the bolts to drop in, loosely fit these locating bolts. Do 
do them up tight once everything's lined up. The mode should now be loose. So we hold it down to get some tension on the belt. Just do a couple of turns to make sure the belt's centered. After we run it for a while, we'll come through and retension this belt. Just by backing off the four motors screws and then slightly moving it across and that completes our x-axis so we're going to put back on the machine for our z-axis first of all we take out the half nut once all that's taken out we're going to install this ball nut into here at the moment from the standard setup it is too small but because you want to keep this shaft on the same alignment as what the original lead screw was first we'll get a 29 mil hole saw we make a bunk, we supply a uh, printed bung that goes into the original hole that centers it and then we just run the hole saw through and drill that out so it's 28 mil we don't tap these holes as yet we do that once it's on the machine So for initial installation, we put the bearing on the end, ball nut on, slide that through, get our carrier, slide that on, and initially we just do it loosely because this is going to come off again so we can drill and tap those holes. And then we go and fit it on the machine. Adapter over here that goes into the original mount where the lead screw used to go. So to put it up, plug the bearing in. Just loosely fit that to support the weight. Now we fit the carriage and apron together. Slide our carriage back down to our ball nuts. Now we get our marking punch. Mark for the ball screw bolts. Next we take it all off. Drill and tap our bolts. Then reassemble as it is. Now when we put this back together, this is not a machine surface. So we we'll put one bolt in and then check it. We may need find we need to put a small shim on one side or the other so this ball screw doesn't bend as it's done up. Uh, after that, you can do it up tight. You can align this up. There's a bit of movement in this to get the carriage alignment perfect. Then you can fit your motor in a coupler and start doing your electrics.